So I just spent an hour and a half walking campus trying to find good scenic areas to record this video. Went to the botanical gardens, talked, did all that. And the entire video just up and poofed. A little bit demoralizing, but I think it plays well into what my entire speech was about. I've had a lot of ambitions when it comes to projects, when it comes to assignments, when it comes to what I wanted to do in college, and I've fallen short on a lot of them. It's disappointing, but at the end of the day, it's the reality of just what life is. And sometimes you have to live with that. When it comes to education, what I want to be as a teacher, what I see that a teacher should be, it's someone who has passion, someone who can motivate the students, someone who knows that they're there to protect the students. A lot of educators don't see it that way. But at the end of the day, I think that it's one of the most important and vital things about being an educator. Throughout the time that I've been here at URI, it's only been a semester, but I've learned that that patience is really what separates each individual from one another. You'll find that patience and that forgiveness between a wide range of spectrums, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the student. There's so much focus on how educators can help students learn better, how they can help make the learning process easier for different types of learning, for different adapt adaptations. But the students themselves are the ones that dictate everything. Sitting here in front of the library, I'm thinking about how I could just be in the library more often. I could be in there learning, I could be in there studying, I could be in there doing my assignments, I could be in my classes. I have so much focus on not being in debt, on working so I can pay to even attend here. But when it comes to education, what are you really learning if you're not in the classroom? Educators are constantly le learning new ways that they could face new challenges, whether it's technology, whether it's a decline in determination and motivation for one's own work. And in a way, I've just spat in the face of it. It's sad. To be honest, it's sad. I remember how I felt my first day walking into EDC. And when I walked in there, I was happy. It felt like a space where I could be myself. It felt like a space where I was surrounded by others who wanted the same thing as me. And on my last day in EDC, it felt like my first day again. I almost cried. Walking out of that classroom, I usually stop to chat with you, Professor, but I couldn't do it. Walking out of that classroom, I felt everything that I'd missed. And at the end of the day, that's what education really is. It's a societal impact where you can not only become someone who society sees you as worthy of a job, of a career, of any accomplishment, but education also is a way so that we can find who we really are. And I feel like I missed an opportunity at that. It's funny to me because core standards, they were made for this reason, to try to make everything more equitable for every student. 
It was a way so that all students could meet the common core, the basics that they needed, so that everyone could meet that same standard expectation. It's something that, in a lot of ways, I feel like has stolen stolen autonomy from teachers has stolen from some of the passion behind what is being taught yet at the end of the day it comes down to something that is necessary something that has to happen in schools if it doesn't happen then how are we going to know that everyone is getting the same experience not even the same experience as much as something that's at least comparable. I don't want to say buzzwords. I know this is an assignment to try to show my knowledge that I've gained from this course. I feel like I've learned a lot, but not as much as I could have. It's sad. I often think back on when you asked me, Professor, why wouldn't you just keep doing Chipotle? Isn't the money more worth it? You'd be making more on salary as a store owner. Something that's attainable for you within months. Than as a teacher after years. But to be honest with you, it's draining. It's draining doing something that you're not passionate about. I'm passionate about learning. I'm passionate about education. And it's so depressing not being in those classrooms. There were some days when I could have came, and I didn't, just out of shame.